This view of the brain is a mid-sagittal cross-section of the brain. This is the anterior side of the brain. This is the posterior side of the brain. So up here is the cerebrum. This would be the frontal lobe. Again, that's for conscious thought, movement, emotion. Back here would be the parietal lobe, which is somatosensory function. Here would be the occipital lobe. That would be processing visual signals. Then as we move down, there's this curved strip of white matter. That's the corpus callosum. Those are axons or neurons that are connecting the left and right hemispheres together. Below that, we have structure and space. This structure right here is the thalamus. So that's the structure that's editing and routing signals to the cerebrum. And then there's space. So there's an indentation here and here. This is all the third ventricle. Now below the thalamus, this triangular region right about here is the hypothalamus. That's responsible for regulating autonomic function. And then back here, we have the pineal gland. That's responsible for making this hormone called melatonin. Now coming off of the hypothalamus, we have this stalk that's the infundibulum. That connects the hypothalamus to the pituitary gland, which has endocrine function. Now this structure right here is actually a cross section of the optic chiasm where the two optic nerves come in and cross. Now as we move down inferiorly, we have this region of the brain, the midbrain. That's connecting the thalamus to the rest of the brain stem. This bump right here is the pons and that's responsible for regulating inspiration and exhalation. And below that we have the medulla oblongata and then down here is the spinal cord. So the medulla oblongata is regulating uh, cardiovascular function, heartbeat, breathing in and out. Now there is a space down here. This is the fourth ventricle. And right posterior to that is the cerebellum. Now on the cerebellum you have this white matter called the arbor vitae. And connecting the fourth ventricle to the third ventricle, we have the cerebral aqueduct. Now there is another space that's a little hard to see. So I'm gonna put the probe into that space. So there's space right here. If I pull that apart, we'll be able to see this space right here. This is the lateral ventricle. And here also is the lateral ventricle. Now there are a couple of structures that when put together make regions of the brain. So the pineal gland, the thalamus, and the hypothalamus, they all make up this region of the brain called the diencephalon. The midbrain, the pons, and the medulla oblongata all make up the brainstem.